Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie and you are watching Reliable Roots and today's video is all about Valentine gifts that do not involve candy. So we're going to be making a bunch of different Valentine gifts mostly for kids but I also am making some things for the chickens. So we're going to start off by making some birdseed hearts. For this recipe you will need flour, water, gelatin, corn syrup, birdseed, parchment paper, and the molds. And I am using heart shaped molds of course because it's Valentine's Day. This is a really fun craft to do with the kids but this also makes a really great gift for any teachers or bird lovers or chicken owners that you might know of. As always I will be leaving the recipe in the description box below so be sure to check this out if you are interested in making these for yourself. So the ornaments are going to end up being kind of hard and sticky, but they're not going to be so hard that they're like a rock. So you want to make sure to spray the molds on the inside because what will happen if you don't spray those, you'll try to take the birdseed ornaments out and they'll just kind of all crumble into a million little pieces of birdseed. So that's why I did that there. And you're going to want to pack it down really good so that there's no air pockets inside of the molds and it becomes really nice and firm after it dries. Now this project does make a whole lot of birdseed mix. So I only had four heart shaped cookie cutter pieces and I ended up having to bust out all of my different cookie cutters to make sure that I used up all the birdseed mix because you do have to have this birdseed mix sit in these cookie cutters for at least two hours and then they have to sit overnight before you are able to hang them up. So in the winter time I have this beautiful mix of blue jay, robins, and cardinals and some sparrows that invade my backyard and I was really hoping to get some video of them eating these bird seed feeders. But I put the bird seed feeders out in my backyard for that purpose and I kid you not a couple hours later they were completely gone and I didn't even have a chance to film the birds eating them like that's how much they loved them. I could not believe how quickly they ate them. So I have been wanting to make some kinetic sand for a really long time now. I keep seeing recipes for it online and I thought I'd go ahead and give it a try. And this was so much fun not only to make but to play with is that there is something so satisfying about kinetic sand. And I added some red food coloring in this just to give it that kind of pink hue. And I thought that this would just be a fun gift to give preschoolers or elementary school kids. So I thought of a few more ideas of non-candy Valentine gifts that would be perfect for like a classroom setting and they're very inexpensive and I just made up some labels and I will leave a link in the description box below of where you can get those free printables if you would like to use them yourself. These would make perfect gifts for like a classroom setting if you wanted non-candy items to give to a whole classroom full of kids. And that about wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you as a subscriber. Leave me a comment below if you try out any of these ideas, and I'll see you next time. Bye!